Royal expert Duncan Larkham believes Prince Harry's police protection request is a clear sign he intends to soon travel across the pond with his wife Meghan Markle and children Archie Harrison and Lilibet Lily Diana. The royal author told OK! Magazine, it's the biggest sign that he plans to bring the whole family to visit the UK. If this WASNT a pressing issue, he wouldn't be trying to push it through with immediate effect. This ISNT Harry pushing for police protection on the off chance that they all come to Britain, this is clearly part of a plan that they have now to return, not necessarily permanently, but for the first time since they left as a family. Over the weekend, a legal representative of Harry revealed the Duke has filed a claim for a judicial review against a Home Office decision not to allow him to pay for police protection while in the UK. In a statement shared on Saturday, the Duke's spokesperson clearly said the Duke still considers the UK his home and a place he wants his children to get to know. However, he wants them to be able to visit Britain safely, explaining why the Duke believes it is vital for him to have police protection while he visits the UK. The statement read Prince Harry inherited a security risk at birth, for life. He remains sixth in line to the throne, served two tours of combat duty in Afghanistan, and in recent years his family has been subjected to well-documented neo-Nazi and extremist threats. While his role within the institution has changed, his profile as a member of the royal family has not. Nor has the threat to him and his family. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex personally fund a private security team for their family, yet that security cannot replicate the necessary police protection needed whilst in the UK. In the absence of such protection, Prince Harry and his family are unable to return to his home. The statement added the Duke of Sussex has offered, without success, to cover the costs for UK police protection to not burden British taxpayers. The statement also claimed Harry's security was compromised during his latest visit to the UK in July 2021. The Duke had travelled across the pond to unveil the statue of Princess Diana at Kensington Palace he and his brother Prince William had commissioned. While in the UK, he also attended an event hosted by his beloved patronage well child. The statement read, during his last visit to the UK in July 2021 to unveil a statue in honour of his late mother, his security was compromised due to the absence of police protection, whilst leaving a charity event. A host of important events for the royal family scheduled for 2022 could provide Prince Harry and Meghan the perfect occasion to come together with members of the firm in the UK. In the spring, royals will reunite to attend a memorial service for Prince Philip, who died at Windsor Castle in April. While Harry attended the funeral of his grandfather, Meghan could not travel across the pond at the time as she was heavily pregnant with Lily. The long bank holiday weekend at the beginning of June would also mark the perfect occasion for a family reunion with the Sussexes. On June 2nd, Britain will mark the Queen's official birthday and her 70th year on the throne with a special trooping the colour parade. On June 4, Lily's first birthday, Buckingham Palace will become the set of a concert attended by several Alistas. While Prince Harry returned to the UK twice since officially stepping down as senior royal, Meghan has yet to travel across the pond since March 2020. Their son Archie was last on British soil in November 2019, before he left with his parents for a holiday in Canada, and Lily is believed to have yet to leave the States, as she was born only seven months ago.